Close to 450 employers have been denied partial or full job support scheme payouts amounting to nearly $10 million. Now, that's after the Inland Revenue Authority reviewed the eligibility of 2,200 employers. It's part of efforts to ensure that the payouts are dispersed fairly. IRAS says that it has a robust anti-gaming framework as part of measures to identify potential risks and abuse of the JSS. Now, of the cases reviewed for the July payouts, more than 1,400 cases were concluded. Four cases are being investigated by police for suspected abuse. IRA says that the cases referred to the police include employers who submitted false documents to justify the eligibility for the scheme. The JSS aims to offset wages for workers affected by the pandemic. If uh, convicted of attempted abuse of the JSS, employers risk getting their payouts denied. They can also be fined or jailed up to 10 years. The IRAS has identified examples of how some employers attempt to receive those higher payouts. Now, these include making CPF contributions that are not reflective of the wages paid or even to those who are not actual employees. One employer's group says that some cases may not be blatant abuse, but an administrative lapse. However, for those clear-cut abuses, they should be taken to task because these are taxpayer support schemes. It's something that I think all businesses are very grateful for, and, and it, it's very sad if there were cases of abuse. We certainly think that if there are any cases of abuse, they should be taken to task. Um, but you know, generally, I think it's definitely the minority, you know, that that uh, have uh, such a behaviour. Uh, you know, I would say that in the SME ecosystem, you know, generally everybody do uh, fall within the parameters of uh, support schemes and. and Definitely there'll be some bad hats, but it happens everywhere.